One morning, Percy was impatient. He was wearing a new coat of paint and longed for everyone to see it. The other engines were still dozing, but not Percy. Driver should be here by now. What's he doing? Sleeping, grunted Gordon. But that means I'll be late. The coaches will be waiting and the passengers will get cross. Rubbish, huffed Henry. It's still early, added James. You just want to show off. No, I don't. Never mind, Percy, said Thomas. It'll soon be time for work. But be careful, or you might run into danger. And Duke is not here to save you. D -d Duke? stuttered Toby. You mean our hero? A large painting of Duke hung in the engine shed. The very same, said Thomas. Driver told me the story. Listen. And this is the story Thomas told them. Long ago, when Peter Sam was still called Stuart and Sir Handel Falcon, they worked with Duke on his old railway, but Falcon still had a lot to learn. The manager came to see him. Falcon, I'm pleased with your work so far. Now you must learn a difficult part of the line. We call it the Mountain Road. Falcon was excited. Yes, please, sir. So tomorrow, when you have a new coat of paint, you will go on it. Duke will explain everything. Huh, thought Falcon. Duke's an old fuss pot. Next day came. Listen, warned Duke, the mountain road is difficult. I'll lead. No, replied Falcon, I'll lead. How can I learn the route with you lumbering ahead and blocking the view? Suit yourself, said Duke, but never mind the view. Look at the track. The engine set off. Look at the track, puffed Duke. Never mind the view. Fusspot, fusspot, replied Falcon. Fuddy duddy, fuddy duddy, fuddy duddy. The engine speed grew slower and slower. Don't dawdle, don't dawdle, urged Falcon. No hurry, no hurry, puffed Duke. Soon they approached a tunnel. Falcon didn't like the tunnel. It was curved, and he couldn't see. I want to get out. I want to get out, he sighed. One moment, everything seemed safe. But then, suddenly... Falcon was derailed and hung dangerously over the edge. Duke bravely held on with all his strength. Stop shaking, he called. I can't hold you if you shake. Duke's driver and fireman worked quickly to make the two engines safe again. Then came more trouble. Water, cried Duke's fireman. Duke needs water, quickly. Luckily, there was a workman's cottage nearby. Soon, everyone was passing jugs, buckets, kettles, and saucepans filled with water until Duke's thirst was quenched. All the while, Duke was building more strength. At last, with everyone's help, he was able to pull Falcon back onto the rails. Then they started off once more. The manager was waiting at the top station. He apologized for the accident. Your Duke, said the passengers, is a hero. He stood firm like a bulldog and wouldn't let go. Falcon was grateful too. Thank you for saving me, Duke. I don't know why you bothered after I'd been so rude. Oh well, replied Duke, you just had a new coat of paint. It would have been a pity if you'd rolled down the mountain and spoiled it.